Hi Taurus, I'm Anisha. You can write to me at tarubayanisha at gmail.com. You can also visit my website www.tarubayanisha.com. And this is your monthly forecast for August 2015. It's quite a fantastic month, Taurians, but a lot of work for you as well. We have the gorgeous Venus and she is going to be going retrograde the entire month. And then we have uh, Saturn that is going direct and this aspect happens only once in every 27 years. So you have to take full advantage of it. Now we begin the month with uh, Saturn that is going direct on 2nd of August and this is happening in a part of your chart that speaks about partnerships, it speaks about marriage and this aspect uh, is not going to be happening for you for the next 27 years so make full use of it take full advantage of this aspect and this is a time where uh, and all throughout for the last uh, two and a half years historians we've spoken about uh, relationships we speaking of we have spoken about how it is that you relate with them the transformation the changes there's been a lot of focus on your marriage there's been a lot of focus um, at your foundation, at your house of foundation, which really speaks about your home, it speaks about your parents. So for the last two and a half years, there seems to be a lot of uh, action that seems to be happening over here. It can be that you have been uh, busy evaluating a lot of stuff that has to do with your relationships. Do you break them? Do you take them ahead? Do you transform? Uh, what is it that you do? And now finally, when uh, Saturn goes direct in Scorpio this time, and it's a time wherein you know, Saturn is just asking you to heal your relationship, Taurians. It, it's really a time where you need to be, um, you need to be putting the baggage to rest. You know, it's a time wherein that you're also going to be realizing that, you know, you could be a bit tired of uh, making things work. And it can also be a time where for those of you who are not in a committed relationship or who have been looking for a committed relationship, you know, you could be quite tired of the being in and out of relationships. And you could just be looking for, um, you, know, you could be getting very serious about relationships. It's just a time where there could be no sense of, maybe if earlier, uh, for, for some of you, it could be a sense of adventure or, you know, that excitement of being in a newer relationship. But now there's going to be a more sense of responsibility, a seriousness around it. And uh, it can also be uh, at a time for those of you who are not married, you know, it could just sort of put you off relationship. And even, in fact, for those of you who are married, in fact, who have been going through a challenging time, it could also be a time wherein you could just be thinking about, you know, what's the purpose of having this entire uh, relationship. It could just be quite a burdensome uh, thing for you. And uh, it, it is also a, a time wherein that um, not just a time, I think it can be that since the last, uh, uh, you know, couple of months uh, or even two and a half years, you could have been thinking about uh, relationships a bit too seriously. I, I think it's maybe you have been putting too much of unnecessary focus or that sense of not just expectations, but maybe there's just too much of a serious focus on it, you know, which is uh, you're just being sort of being asked to put your foot off uh, the, the accelerator over, over here. And it's, it's a time wherein that you are also going to be not looking at things very, very easily. It's just going to be an extremely, uh, uh, you know, uh, a time wherein that anything that has to do with relationship is going to have a lot of um, seriousness around it. You know, you, you're just, you don't find it funny anymore. Let me put it that way. Now, Jupiter is going to be entering Virgo and uh, this is happening around the 11th and this aspect happens once in every 12 years so jupiter is entering after almost 12 years in virgo and this is uh, happening in a part of your chart that has to do with love it has to do with children and it has to do with creativity and the only issue we hear is that uh, jupiter is detriment in this position now by detriment we mean that uh, it just curtails the exuberance of a particular planet. So maybe what, how a planet is supposed to be functioning or how it would function otherwise in, in its full element, it's not really. So it's not a retrograde, but it's detriment. It's not really uh, be able to give its entire expansiveness or maybe the goodness or the fortune that it would normally be. So you could find it a little bit challenging uh, to, uh, you know, to maybe as far as love is concerned, as far as creativity or even children are concerned so not to say that you're not going to be happy but it's just that uh, a thing of a challenge of sort of managing maybe your expectations that what you thought that it will really turn out to be this 
really fantastic and things are going well and maybe the kind of you know um, a hope that you had inside maybe it, it won't turn out to be as large or as soul satisfying as you thought it would be but it won't be bad either and it's it's a time wherein that um, you are being asked to uh, you're being asked to not compromise but you're being asked to adjust you're being asked to manage your expectations uh, tolerance and of course jupiter coming there is going to be putting your focus on to your children and there's going to be a sense of happiness that you're going to be feeling uh, 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 you know uh, as far as your kids are concerned maybe there could be some source of happiness or some news that you will hear uh, about them and it's also a time wherein that um, wherein it's it's a great time to travel for those of you again you know if you've been say been planning a trip to venice and saying it may not really happen it may not really but you will travel so it could be that uh, you know you'll uh, end up going somewhere more closer home so it may not be as exotic or as uh, adventurous as you had thought it would be now venus the goddess of love beauty sex and also values and she's your ruling planet as well taurus and she's going to be going retrograde the entire month and this month uh, in fact this aspect is there for uh, all of us and it's a huge um, aspect because over here we're talking about values we're really the focus is about what is it that we really value what do you think that your relationship really uh, gives to you brings to you what is it that you are how it is that you are participating in the relationship and you're just going to be sitting and reassessing everything as far as uh, uh, your relationships are concerned and this is aspecting your house of cancer it's there in your house of foundation so it, it has to do with your parents it has to do with your mother it can be that there is a, it's maybe a time that you are going to be reassessing maybe there's a condition that comes from your mother maybe they, you think too much like you maybe there are control issues that are there maybe how it is that your marriage should be how it is that a home should run how it is that you should be with your kids all that is going to just get far more um not just pronounced but it's just you're going to be thinking maybe a lot more uh, uh like your mom and there is going to be an, an entire focus on um your past it has to do with your childhood your conditioning on um you know people you grew up with your siblings and there's an entire focus around it now it's also a time because venus also uh, rules money it's a good time to be reassessing your uh, finances it's a great time to be budgeting and it's a good time to be looking at uh, um you know maybe you've been to extravagant and uh, because this has to do with home uh, and foundation it could be that uh, there is a lot of expense that is being incurred on a child and there just could be a sense of grudge over there if not grudge maybe is not a right word but it could just be a sense of uh, you know you're not too uh, happy about it you know there just seems to be a kind of uh, a concern you know there's too much of money that is being uh, uh, spent over there and um, this is a time where uh, venus is going to be asking you what is it that uh, you want to let go of and it speaks about past issues it speaks about uh, uh, things that have to do with the, your relationship it's really asking you know that how much of it is that you want to hold on and carry towards you know if you are there in the relationship you might as well just let go of the baggage and just heal yourself the focus is entire month is going to be healing your relationships and healing yourself and uh, it, it's really a time wherein that you may have it's not that you've not thought a lot about this relationships but it's just a time that you've sat and you've introspected a lot and you've um, you know but there's no great solution that has come out of it so it, it's really a time where you need to be uh, getting closure you need to be closing the loop uh, really on this so use this great energy torrents i think uh, for a lot of you for the last two and a half years is so much of being back on for and um you know this entire thing of that burden some uh, responsibility of a relationship that has been that it's really a time where you heal it and, and you heal yourself uh, in the process itself it's been a pleasure speaking with you torians have a brilliant august i'll see you soon and thank you so much for watching